Hey guys, what's going on? Steve here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet to write blog posts that actually rank, okay? Now, the previous version of Claude was my absolute favorite out of the large LLMs for writing blog posts. In my opinion, the quality and the output was better than ChatGPT and others. So let's take a look today and see if 3.7 Sonnet, which is a big, big update for Claude, can replicate the same. So as always, I'm gonna show you all the prompts I use in today's video, and you'll be able to get everything I show you today by signing up to the Next Gen AI newsletter in the description below. So let's take a look at the prompts I'm gonna be using, okay? So first of all, the way we wanna do this is break down these prompts into um, a system prompt, which is essentially we're telling Claude, giving it some context, and then we're gonna be also be generating an outline of the blog post, so covering the different topics we wanna to talk about, and then we're gonna generate a blog post from that outline, okay? So, first of all is the system prompt, and then second is we've got our outline prompt, and it's, guys, if you're using things like Claude or ChatGPT to write SEO-optimized articles, you always wanna be writing the outline first, okay? That way, you can kind of compartmentalize each individual bit, and then obviously edit to your heart's content. And then, and then finally, uh, our output prompt, Flimnec has a lot of uh, LSIs and entities there, blog post prompt here. So let's go through each of them one by one, okay? So our system prompt for Claude, okay? We're gonna tell Claude that we're a seasoned SEO blog post writer with a proven track record of creating compelling, interesting content that people love to read. You will create content that will always outrank other websites, important, okay? Given, given Claude the context it needs. The goal is to write a detailed, human-readable, SEO-optimized blog post that ranks well on search engines and provides value to the reader, okay? Guys, it's 2025 now, yeah? We're no longer solely writing for search engines as we were the last, I don't know, decade. We want to be writing for humans too, okay? So we're going to give Claude this system prompt. So first of all, I'm going to copy and paste this prompt and simply whack this into Claude. So the theme of today's video, guys, is free. I'm using the free plan. Um, you can actually have limited access to 3.7 Sonnet on the free plan of Claude. I've simply let my subscription expire as I've been away for a little while. I need to renew that. So we're gonna give Claude the system prompt first and it should come back with a um, an acknowledgement of what we've said. Hopefully. These things never go to plan. Here we go, okay, so I'd be happy to help you create this. Um, and now it's asking me further follow-up questions. Could we share the main topic or keyword? Uh, any specific angles or perspectives we'd like to take? Intended audience, uh, competitors, and the desired length for the blog post. So this is one of the really good things about Claude, okay? It's, it's actually asking for specific things. So if you give it those specific things back, obviously Claude is gonna really, really like that and the output is gonna be that much better, okay? And if we provide Claude with all these details, it can then go ahead and do what we've asked, craft a comprehensive engaging piece that provides genuine value, incorporating best SEO practices, okay? So we're off to a really good start right now. We've given Claude our system prompt and it, it's, it's in the zone. It's changed itself into the mode of being an SEO expert, all right? So this is a really good start. So for our outline, so the reason why we wanna do the outline first is because we wanna really, really home down on exactly you know what our H2s and H3s are gonna be and right now blog post based off those topics, all right? For example, you know, there might be stuff in there that we don't specifically don't want to talk about. Alternatively, there might be things out there that we do really want to talk about. So if you've analyzed the SERPs, the search engine results, and you've seen what your competitors are ranking for and the topics they're talking about, you really want to include those here, okay? So for our outline prompt, we're going to say your first task is to write a structured and comprehensive blog post outline, this is really important, for an article about, so today we're gonna to be doing an article on the health benefits of green tea, okay? Um, super competitive um, term to rank for, but let's see what Claude comes up with, okay? Ensuring best SEO practices are followed. And then we're gonna give Claude the guidelines to be able to write this post on from the outline, okay? So keep in mind, this is also the target keyword trying to rank for. Um, also define the purpose of the article. Structure the blog with a clear intro, body, and conclusion. Break the body into logical sections using H2 subheadings that contain variations of the primary keyword. So essentially we're giving it SEO best practices here. S uh, H3 subheadings uh, for lists include a frequently asked questions section at the end, okay? And this is really important. So this is one of the things that I don't see people doing too much, okay? And let me tell you something, okay? Adding this year, heavily emphasize or heavily em emphasis on 
keyword LSIs and entities, okay? Doing this and not doing this, the difference in quality and the difference in uh, things like SEO score is like night and day, okay? You really wanna be doing this, okay? So if you wanna know what, an easy way to get your um, your LSIs and entities without actually having to do a ton of research, um, I've just used um, a tool called Neuron Writer. I don't use Neuron Writer for actually writing the posts because it's um, not the best for that, but it is a really good content editor. So I simply fed it um, the, the, the keyword that I wanted to, and basically, what Neuron Writer has done is gone ahead and analyzed the SERPs, and it's given me all the LSI's uh, keywords and entities that I need or had seen from articles that are actually rank in, in the top 10, and also the frequency or the suggested number of uses in our content. So you can go ahead and simply uh, copy the list of visible terms, all the terms with suggested uses, and then in our prompt, we want to put heavily emphasized keyword LSI's and entities, and we want to paste all the different terms here, the title terms, the description terms, uh, the H2 is the basic terms. This is just simply copying and pasting um, from that tool. This saves an absolute ton of time because you're making sure you're including the exact um, phrases that the competitors are using that are already ranking in the SERPs, okay? And if we go back to what Claude is asking for, for example, um, you know, this, this is aligned with the questions that are asking, okay, especially any competitor's content you're trying to outrank. So we can also as well, so I, I researched this earlier, I found a source context uh, from an article uh, on healthline.com, which is a big um, health website, top 10 evidence-based health benefits of green tea, okay? So I'm gonna use this as the source context, okay? So we're gonna put that into our uh, outline prompt as well, okay? So we're, we're giving Claude as much information as possible, including uh, the questions that is obviously asked for, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this rather lengthy outline uh, prompt because of all the, um, the LSIs and entities that we want to include. Well, okay, there we go, all right? And then we're gonna paste this into Claude. So it's gonna rather lengthy prompt. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but it's gonna give us the blog post outline here. So we can see Claude is, um, constructing this in front of our very eyes. Okay, very impressive, all right? Comprehensive outline for the health benefits of green tea. So we've got the blog purpose, the title options, the med description, H1, the intro, and all the H2s and H3s, exactly what we've asked it for. And if we, we can see, it's including all things, all, all the LSIs and entities um, and keywords that we've um, asked for conclusion and call to action. So it's got absolutely everything. So to me, I mean, this was really, really, I mean, how fast was that, guys? But already this is looking, I think we're in a really good spot right now to do this. So that was stage two. So first of all, we give it the system prompt, which is the context, and then we've given it the outline prompt. So now we want to build an SEO-optimized blog post based on this outline that Claude has already generated, okay? So what we're gonna do now is go to our blog post prompt. So using the outline generated, okay? So this is basically, you know, like this is just follow-up prompts every single time relating back to the previous output. Using the outline generated, please write an informative and engaging SEO-optimized blog post that ranks well on search engines, okay? Start with a compelling intro that hooks the reader, clearly state what they will learn, okay? And then we've got some output best practices here, okay? Use short paragraphs, ensure each section flows naturally, integrate keywords naturally into headings, simple, easy to read style, avoid AI buzzwords such as vast tapestry or picture this, or in today's digital landscape, articles should be written to a ninth grade readable level. So we probably should check this in Hemingway as well uh, when the output comes out. Verify the paragraphs are scannable with clear headings, ensure meta tags. This is complete SEO best practices, okay? And review keyword density to ensure it's between one to 2% without overuse in unnatural ways. And then aim for final count 2.5k words, okay? Now it doesn't always stick to this, I found, um, but let's give it a go, okay? So let's copy and paste that in. And then hopefully from this outline, we get a really, really well-structured and well-written uh, SEO-optimized blog post on the health benefits of green tea. So let's take a look. Okay, we can see Claude is um, constructing this in front of our very eyes and it's gone to the kind of canvas mode here. Super fast.
and maybe thinking like what's the difference so far between um 3.5 and 3.7 so on it i will be doing um a future video probably this week or probably next week on the differences and obviously how they compare to chat gpt as well i still think claude is um the best in terms of the big names um, in terms of writing content, written content, uh, marketing content, um, and things like that. Um, you know, I always go to perplexity for research. Um, you know, ChatGPT is good at other things too. So it's important that, you know, if you're, if you're using AI for your business or um, for clients, that you recognize what each platform is, or the strengths of each platform, and to use them for different things. So it's really going to town on this post. I like I like this a lot. So whilst it's reading out, green tea stands one of the world's healthiest drinks. For centuries, people across Asia have enjoyed this beverage for both its taste and health benefits. Okay, so this is a comprehensive guide, nice intro, and it's also stated exact so exactly what we said in the outline. Okay, we wanted to state very early on after the intro exactly what people will learn by reading this post. So pretty much exactly followed the outline for sure and then hopefully we have a conclusion um, as well at the end frequently asked questions yeah okay brilliant excellent when to consult a healthcare provider interaction so this is a really really detailed blog post and then also with the conclusion okay so we can go ahead um and you know test this we can obviously paste this into um, a content optimizer like neuron writer or put it into hemingway just to find out um, the readability etc but i can see this is already um reading very well um and we can see claude here has also followed up and if we wanted to edit it we can use claude suggestions as well to make this even um even better but that you know you don't simply want to just be giving it a prompt guys um, asking for a blog post on a keyword and hoping it's gonna work up some magic and guess exactly what you want. You need to be doing this in stages, giving the system some context, uh, writing the outline and then writing the blog post based on that outline using SEO best practices, okay? So hopefully you can kind of see if you do things the right way, step by step, and not rush it and um, you know not leave uh, these AIs to do all the guesswork for you, then you're gonna come up with something else a lot better and your output um, is gonna be a lot better as well gonna need to better rankings, happier clients or happier business, exactly, okay? So once again, you can um, get all the prompts I used in today's video uh, by signing up to the next NA newsletter below. Um, I've got an edition coming out today, uh, sorry, tomorrow, uh, Friday, and um, depending on whether you're um, watching this video. And um, yeah, hopefully you found this, uh, this interesting. And um, if you've got any questions or you have any kind of insights yourself uh, around uh, blog post writing with Claude, let me know in the comments below and uh, hopefully we can get some good discussion going. Now, as always, um, you know, we, we can use Claude obviously um, and, you know, with prompting and, um, you know, the, the more you get used to it and you, you learn the nuances and things like that, uh, the better quality it gets. But as always, you know, I'm a big fan of automation and I'm a big fan of using platforms that are specific for a purpose, okay? So there's a really, really awesome AI writer that I'm involved with called Journalist AI. Um, in my opinion, it's the absolute best AI writer and auto blogger out there, okay? So if you go to tryjournalist.com, uh, you can go and see their website. Now I did a big, huge review, two and a half hour review on every single AI writer out there, guys. It was a two and a half hour video. I reviewed every single one in detail. So I'll leave the description for that video below. If you wanna see which writers are better at doing certain things and the overall best. Journalist was my number one. Um, I've been using it for a while now, which is why I've teamed up with them. Uh, so if you go to their website or you use my link below, uh, you will just simply get three free articles straight off the bat. Um, don't have to sign up to a plan, no credit card required, just enter in your email. Using my link below, you get three articles and you get to test out the platform and its features, okay? But why I really like it, um, it's got a number of uh, really, really awesome features that just make life a lot easier, as well as just being really, really strong in terms of human-like content, in terms of SEO scores. I did a complete review of this, so do check out the, uh, the video below in the description. But I just wanna show you, for example, how easy this is. So I go to uh, click on SEO articles. By the way, I can do uh, news articles, you can do Amazon product reviews, you can do YouTube to blog posts, etc. And I can just simply enter in a keyword here. I can add as many keywords in as I want to and it'll generate the content for those automatically. Or I can upload an Excel spreadsheet and bulk create content. So let's take a look at an article I, um, I generated before. Let's just do this one. Um, let's view this. Oops, my phone's going off. 
I'm just going to edit this with AI. Okay, so this is actually an article I believe was published on a website we used as a test. And uh, ignore the SEO score, that's not actually uh, live, by the way. Um, they need to remove that. But um, table of contents here is we've got Tesla, the perfect car. So we've got the introduction. So you're thinking about getting Tesla as your first car, it's a pretty big decision. There's a lot to consider, okay? None of that AI buzzwords, okay, in today's digital car electric landscape or whatever they call it, okay? Key takeaways, um, it completely AI generated images. And look at this, this is really awesome, okay? Automatic external and internal links. That's really awesome. YouTube videos, okay? Um, say again, more links. So say I wanted to edit this, I can simply highlight it. Great AI SEO editor, guys. Rewrite this in any which way, like simplify, rewrite, made longer. Turn this info into a list, into a table. I can also add more keywords if I want to, okay? And then this is absolute money here. If I want to add more links, uh, I can add external or internal links with just one click. There's no internal links here because I've got no articles linked to this, by the way, but there would be if I had. Click external links and I can simply, I mean, look guys, this is a massive time saver, okay? Rather than going out there and researching um, fact-checked citations, I can simply go here and go bang and there's a new link in there. Absolute money, guys. Conclusion, frequently asked questions, okay? If I want to add extra images in, for example, here, I can simply add an image in here, placeholder, and I can actually use the AI to generate an image, okay? And like I say, all this I'm doing now, you can set at a system level inside a journalist AI perfect. One bam, thank you, ma'am. And it will just do it automatically. In fact, you can set up um, complete auto blogs using uh, different settings, okay? And you've got something called blog automation and feeds, okay? So what feeds is really amazing, okay, guys? You can simply um, enter in Oops, sorry, enter in a bunch of uh, competitors. Oh, I need to turn this back on, here we go. But you enter in a bunch of competitor website and anytime they start ranking for a keyword, it'll list it here. You can see the volume, the difficulty, and then the feed will automatically produce pieces of content based on what your competitors are now ranking for and then publish that automatically to your site, okay? That is a complete game changer because it's ensuring that once your competitors are ranking for something, you're also gonna be analyzing what they've done and publishing that content based on those keywords too, okay? That is absolute gold, okay? That's one of the, um, really really awesome things uh, about this platform i've even got ai agents such as uh, site optimizers automatic indexers um, a ton of integrations guys it's a really really awesome platform okay guys so go ahead and test it out go to the link below three free credits simply for uh, entering your email address okay no credit card required and you can do things automatically on autopilot um, just as well or even better than uh, things like Claude and ChatGPT can and uh, complete SEO optimized links, absolutely everything. Uh, there's no need to use things like Neuron Writer because it does all, all the outline and the LSS entities on autopilot behind the scenes, okay? So that's really, really awesome. And don't forget, I've, like I say, I've teamed up with Journalist AI, so with Vasco from Journalist, and we've given away three free courses, one on link building, uh, complete AI SEO course from beginner to uh, hero, and just a full general A to Z SEO course on page, off page, and technical SEO, okay guys? These are completely free courses. This is two hours, one hour and a half, uh, 43 minutes, okay? And there's even more videos about backlinks work, by mobile, etc. okay? So I've teamed up with uh, Vasco from Journalist AI. So I'll leave those free courses as well in the description below, guys. And giving everything away for free, free um, how to blog with Claude, three free articles for Journalist and all these courses, okay? So don't say I don't look after you. And uh, yeah, do sign up for the newsletter that's coming out tomorrow, uh, which is Friday, depending on whether you're watching this video or when you're watching this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.